summer has arrived, the sun is shining, the birds are singing and there is no better way to get out and enjoy it than by heading to the highlands for a spot of wild camping. Now I've decided to come to Loch Assiant, which is in the northwest of Scotland and before I pitch my tent I like to do a bit of exploring first because after all there's numerous locations you can choose from and it's really good to try and find what's going to work for you. There's a few rules that you have to consider before you pitch your tent. Firstly, you've got to try and find some flat ground. After all, you don't want to be camping on stones, tree roots or uneven ground because your comfort is going to be compromised. Find somewhere that's open, that's grassy and that is relatively flat so that you can have a really comfortable sleep. Now, Scotland is home to an array of lochs dotted all over the country and they tend to be the most popular places for wild camping because they are so beautiful. But you must remember that the water can change and it's important important that you ensure that you camp either up on a grassy verge or at least a few metres away from the loch's edge. After all, you don't want to wake up in a puddle of water. Now wild camping means that you're not going to have any access to a toilet so it's always worth bearing this in mind and choosing a location that has some private hiding spots like trees or bushes or, or big boulders. And please remember, if you do a number two, don't forget to bury it. Now that I've found some dry land up on a grassy verge that is flat with a stunning view and some possible private toilet spots, it's now time to get the tent up. This is the life. <laughs> 